G'day. So I'm just putting a bit of polish on this um, aluminium or aluminium factory. And I thought it might be a good time to do a little basic tips video on how to use some of the basic features of the micromanager uh, in conjunction with area actions. Just to show how you can get some different uh, designs like, like what you see here. So uh, by no means an expert at this, I'm learning as I use it. Um, but for those that have no idea, this might come in uh, handy. You might find out a couple of things you didn't know about the micromanager. So what we'll do is um, we'll do a similar design to what this is on this side of the building. And um, we'll chuck it in here. So these are um, eight tiles high, which is what we've been doing because of refineries. That's the um, height you need to get over refineries. So I know it's eight tiles high and I know that this is 33 tiles long. So what we'll do is we'll chuck a doorway here in the center first. Actually, first I will I'll do this. We use a different wall just, just for the sake of it, just to make it a bit different. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this, what it's gonna look like. But we'll just do this. All right, so I've got a wall there and I want to space it out um, with these size tiles. I want to space it out and have a space of two tiles in between each one. So instead of doing that manually, I'm just going to use the Area Actions mod, select building, go to fill. I can hit hide at any time to get rid of this window. Uh, that's going to give me the directional arrows on top of whatever building I've selected. It's uh, going to be green and I want it to be 11 because that's 33 divided by 3. So if I hit preview on that, it's going to put 11 walls out. But I want them to be spaced out. So what I'll do is go back into the area actions, go to the border, and I'll make a space of 16. And that's two tiles because each tile is 8 meters. Hit preview. So that's spaced out now. I uh, will hit OK. Then it does it. And clear. Alright, so we'll get rid of this center tile here. And we'll just chuck a door there. Let's use this type of door. Cool. Alright, so we'll put some windows on top of this. Uh, they're gonna be these panels are gonna be three tiles high. So I'll get our window, let's choose this one. And we'll chuck that there. Delete these two. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing with area actions. Select building. Aim off to the side, you can actually um, see the arrows without having to go out. So it's the red arrow is pointing that way, so we wanna go the opposite to red. So negative 11, and we know from before we want a border of 16. Hit preview just to check. Yep, that's what we want. Hit OK. Sweet. Clear. All right, what we'll do with the top is we'll just fill that in again. Um, we'll just go up there to here. We'll just use plain wall. And we're just going to fill this in with actually, what am I doing? Clear. Start from here. Alright, so we're just going to fill this in with a plain wall. Fill. Alright, so it's the green arrow. We want to go 33. And preview. That's filled it in. And we want it to be too high. So Z. We'll make that too high. Preview. Happy with that. Hit OK. Hit clear. Now we've spaced out our tiles. We'll switch across to the micromanager now. And we don't want to do these individually, we want to select all of them at once. So you hold down control and left click on each item. I'm not sure exactly how many items you can select. Uh, but when I was doing the micromanager on the oil rig, at one stage I had 88 different items selected at once. And um, it let me do that. 
Um, if you do select a tile you accidentally, you can just right click so you don't have to have that selected. Alright, so we've got all our tiles selected. Now we want to bring the size up. So you can see the controls on the, um, the little clipboard there on the left. So if I hold down Control Alt and then tap L, it's going to slowly increase the size until hopefully they meet perfectly. You can go over and check there's no gap here. Everything's met. Now to make it when you're happy, you just change off Micromanager. And boom, there it is. That is another floor. Not sure if I'm going to keep it like that, but just as an example. Um, so, if you want to delete these, they delete just as per normal. And you can paint them uh, different colours as per normal as well. So there you go, just a quick little, little video on some tips. And hopefully some of you, some of you found that helpful. And I'll catch you later.